Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, <laughs> welcome to Mike and Joelle live cheesy beginning. <laughs> Sorry, we got ready. We were pushing buttons and then all of a sudden we were live. Yeah, uh, it happens fast, hey? Oh, yeah. look, I look taller than you. I'm kneeling on a chair. <laughs> uh, today we're going to talk about like when we started this crazy video making journey, how it all began. And now there's like millions of people that watch. It's kind of weird. Really crazy. Amazing though. Really amazing. If you're watching, thank you so much for your support. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, well, Joelle's a health and wellness coach. Yes. And when we started this, I was an active um, personal trainer. And, and I had um, been for like 20 years. We were trying to grow our social media accounts to help our online businesses. Yeah. Really, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Joe's still doing that. Um, but I sort of changed after about a year. I was making like, trying to make sort of funny-ish workout style short videos. Boxing. We also own a boxing gym in Auckland, New Zealand. And so it was boxing focused, right? Yeah, big time. And um, anyway, one day there was like, I came across this, like how to film someone and and also like film their reaction and play the audio at the same time. And I came across this funny audio from Rodney Carrington, amazing uh, with a uh, comedian singer. We've done quite a few with him now and um, show them to me is probably the favorite one. <laughs> yeah. The original one was about uh, how some wives turn in, into their mothers. Eh. <laughs> I you said that, like, somewhat. I am, well, no, there's, like, there's aspects of me, traits and personality and mannerisms that are my mother. And that's, that's a wonderful thing. It is great. Mum's not on YouTube, so you won't see this, but it actually is. My mum is amazing. You know, I filmed uh, that video and posted it, and I was getting about 5,000 views on a really good uh, reel on Instagram before... Um, I did this one and this one got like a hundred thousand views in two days. I was like, whoa, people like that. It was a funny reaction, eh? Yeah, yeah. it was very funny. Jan just asked, hi guys, and keep the comments coming. Jan just asked, how many nights do you sleep on the couch? He's, I don't think you've ever slept on the couch, have you? Uh, not, not from us having... Not a, a fight. Just like sickness, maybe. Actually, yeah, and you might have come home like... Back in the early days when you've got like a newborn baby and he might have been out drinking or something, you probably would have like slept on the couch because he would have got more sleep. Drinking waters, of course. No. <laughs> not, back in, not back in the day. You, wouldn't, you would drink a lot more waters these days. But yeah. And then we uh, probably made like three or four more like fitness ones and then I filmed another one and it got three million views and then... From there, I was basically hooked. Yeah, someone, yeah. Um, someone else, sorry, and I just missed your name, just asked a really good question. What attracts you to, to your work? Is it the fact that you get an expression or a reaction from me? Or yeah, good question. I, I guess the very first time we went on our first date, I uh, got a couple of reactions. And uh, <laughs> as you guys know, because obviously people like seeing Joe's reaction. Um, and... I don't know, yeah, I just like to get a reaction. I'm kind of the same in my whole life with everyone too, even at the gym all these years. Definitely love banter, uh, love jokes, love a good time. You and love giving, um, as we say in New Zealand, giving people shit. Yeah. Kind of Teasing people. Poke just poke them. Just try to go. Some, to, just, some people take it well, clearly. Near the, <laughs> near the limit. And I guess I, um, Joe's kind of a good wife for me. <laughs> the fact that she laughs at a lot of it instead of throwing mm. dinner plates at me, which is quite handy. Uh, there's been a couple of questions here that have asked, like, why don't I do the same to you? I don't think you would react quite the same. Not, also, I'm not... I, I'm an intelligent woman, and I think I am funny, but I'm not quite <laughs> as, like, witty. But also, it's not really your personality. It's not it's, everyone's personality. No, I know. Just to Also, that I know, you will see... If you've been following us for a while, there have been a few times where I've been like, all right, I'm going to get you back. Knowing, like, I know this, we've been together for 17 years. I know that if I pay him back, he's going to one-up me. So, more what's eggs the on, point? More, Jen says more eggs on Mike. She'll pay the bill. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> That's so true, though. She, like, 
tries to get me with some kind of prank or video, then I'm just like, all right, then game on mm -hmm. <laughs> and just try and keep upping the level. So it's probably uh, counterproductive for yeah. Joao <laughs> Cho well to try it. Um, fashion was asked, how many times have you almost made me like black out by scaring me? Oh, <laughs> he actually, have you shared that yesterday? No. He got me popping a balloon and I like I was in my office working. I like kicked my heel on the back of my chair. I posted, uh, we did a video yesterday where Joe got home and I did the whole, I've done it a few times and um, I try and change it up slightly every time to make, give Joe a little bit of hope that there might be some jewelry or something at the end of it. Um, I want jewelry. What, about, what do what? I want? I don't know, but I gave her a little present. She wasn't <laughs> allowed to open it. doesn't yet. know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, but there were heaps of balloons, so then, you know, you had to pop them to clean up. So you might as well... Do you know, it's probably just... But sorry, I was not even listening. I was just, you know, what I actually wanted. It's probably just food cooked for me. Well, you want food cooked for you? Like, food I like. Oh, yeah. That's not discriminatory. <laughs> <laughs> even our boys laugh. We've got two boys, Rocco, eight, and Brax, six. And they laugh. Oh, Daddy, Daddy can cook breakfast. <laughs> yes. Daddy can. Oh, that's a really good. So this is not even a content related question, but how much is an older gentleman pushing 50? That's not old. Do you think mobility work is important in your fitness? Extremely important. Yeah, well, even at the ripe old age of 40, um, definitely getting some more niggly injuries. And I was listening to a podcast yesterday about a 51 year old surfer. And um, he used to train, he admitted he used to train quite a bit to, to look good, you know, he want to look good in his togs. But now he's just fully optimizing his training with mobility work and just strength work strength and training. stuff work. Um, so that he can continue to do what he loves to do. So he loves to surf and snowboard and cycle and, you know, he just would hate his body to break down so much where he couldn't enjoy his hobbies. And I think going from just like maxing out on these heavy, heavy weights or just smashing yourself all the time is not really that good for longevity and being able to do be active and do what mm. you want for a long term. Well, it's like um, all of uh, our co coaching in Majo and the training plans we've put together are strength-based training because at the age of 80, you want to be able to push yourself up off the chair or use your legs to stand up off the toilet. So it's very important. I just got distracted because Jeffrey just asked, it, asked <laughs> obviously 17 years ago, I was given community service. <laughs> How much longer is my service? 11 years ago, we got married, remember? Don't you remember our wedding anniversary? Yeah, nearly 12 years ago now. Uh, yeah. Uh, someone, I just missed your name, asked, we've got two boys, uh, Brax is six and Rocco's eight. Are we husband and wife? Yes, we're not brother and sister. We've been asked that before. We, I don't think we look alike. I, I'm way shorter than him, ready? Oh, I'm, back, I'm back a little not bit. That, that I'm not that sure. Hang on. I'm five foot four before the question gets asked. How tall are you? Six foot Six one. one ish. Can can't imagine you two ever arguing. Do we argue? Yes, we disagree. We disagree. We don't. We don't like a oh yell. No, I don't think we've ever had one of those. But um, it's just, you know, those busy times, all families have them, you know, the kids aren't getting ready, like, putting their shoes on and we're late and, you know, it's a little bit like, come on, hurry up, can you mm. do this, can you do that? Um, usually little stressy moments in any household, but that's mm. about it, really. Yeah. Um, where are our sons? It is Thursday here in New Zealand, Thursday morning, probably about 10 o'clock, our sons are at school. Hence, it's so nice and peaceful. Yes, it's very <laughs> quiet. This is our working day, we both work from home. Uh, Mike is a full-time content creator and also runs the gym in Auckland and I have my Joe, which is um, our online health and fitness business, myjo.live. Check it out. Hey, plug in on uh, our YouTube. Yeah, sorry. Thank Speaking you for the dollar, Joanne. Hmm. Um, we had a record. Oh, it's back up to there again. Like, we've never had 927 people on a live. That's just Wow. Mad. That's insane. <laughs> thank you for being here. Crazy. Wow. Oh, thank you. I can't... Your name is not... Are a... you talking about Joelle? <laughs> <laughs> what? Church Nexus 26. Thank you so much. Someone just asked um, what our 
workout nutrition routines are like we do definitely mix it up but at pace if we were talking about food we eat we would eat fresh whole foods 80 percent of the time and 20 percent of the time it's what we're feeling mike really enjoys chocolate um i'm trying to think what my vices are chip like Ch chips, or you call them crisps, I think. Wait, how do you say chips in New Zealand? Chops. Chops. <laughs> like potato, like not hot chips, like potato chips. Uh, crisps. I don't know what you call them in the States. Anyway. But yeah. Anyway, if you guys are chocolateaholics, I've got a little hack. I just, well, Joe helped me with the other day. Don't buy a big block and put it in front of you. Buy like little mini chocolate bars. So Mike could eat an entire block like of chocolate, like the big blocks Easy. in a sitting. So you just buy a bar and still that is too much of a serving for the amount of sugar in it. But if you're looking to cut down, you're not going to drastically just stop having it because you would be miserable. Sorry, I missed the name, but um, someone asked if you do a cheat day. No. On your diet, not your marriage. No, <laughs> we don't. Someone just asked if there's this mother and son. <laughs> Does that mean I'm young and you look old? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you saying thank you? I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> 98 of this person. Maybe this they're talking about kind. the maturity level. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh, oh, Michael. Holy moly. Wow. Thank you so much. Um, um, wow. Well, any, Joe, Joe oh, you okay. didn't see that because now you're going to go shopping or something. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry, Michael, I'll spend that money wisely and put it into our savings account. Oh my God. <laughs> um, someone just asked if we have any pets. No, we don't. We would love, or I would love a dog. We both grew up, Mike grew up on a farm, I grew up on an orchard and we both had dogs. And did you have cats? We had cats. No, nah, no cats. We had cats. Um... We don't have enough a flat land here. The you probably see in some of our videos the land next door, which is beautiful, is a farm and it doesn't belong to us. So, um, and also we do travel a lot. We travel My heaps. family are in the South Island, so and it just makes we're it hard. Not home often. Mm. I'm sure maybe in the next few years we'll, for the boys especially, get a pet. It's quite kind of cool for them. Mm. Hey, um, Yankee Traveller 70, where you say I wish you were here to help me with my weight loss. We can. <laughs> Sorry, my Jo um, is online. So your plans are all put together online and it's an online community. So myjo.live. M-I-J-O dot L-I-V-E. Adonis makes, loves the way I make you laugh. <laughs> you do make me laugh. That's kind of cool. Oh. Like, it's, you know, you always want to have banter with your wife and have a good relationship. Um, but the way now that we film so much content, then I'm actually am, my goal every day is to make her laugh, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, um, just following on from the mother and son thing, someone then commented um, that their boyfriend or partner is 15 years older than me, so it's fine. I am younger than him. <laughs> Mike is 40 and I am 39. Joe's still in her 30s. I've got a young one for yeah. another six months. Yeah. Someone said you don't look like my mum. I don't think you. <laughs> How did y'all meet? Hi, Merida. How did we meet? I went to look at, oh, I don't know what you call it in the States. I don't think it's the same in the UK and things. I went to look up a flat. So it's like when you leave home, or oh, I'd already left home and lived in overseas, but Mike was living in a flat in Auckland and I was trying to rent a room, like in the house that they lived in. Um, I didn't get the room, but he got my number and then eight or nine months later, because he had a girlfriend at the time, he messaged me, and we went out for a drink. The rest is history. Yeah. A long, long, long history. Um, if you want to find Joelle's health coaching website, it's an easy one, our new website, which is kind of easier to remember, mm. mikeandjoelle.com. Just go there and you'll find my Joe there sitting in the middle as a link to click. Mm -hmm. We sold our first, I don't, I don't want to be like one of those selling merch guys, but we've just created some merch to try and bring some banter to some households and stuff. And um, so we sold our first drink bottle yesterday. It was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. It was really cool. Um, 
Someone just asked you a question about how you proposed. Homewrecker. Someone called you a homewrecker because I had a girlfriend. <laughs> you met me. <laughs> Eight oh, months later, oh, clearly, he like... <laughs> she stole me. Anyway, someone said you were always home, no travel. No, we, we travel a lot. We just film you, film, you film a lot of content. Yeah. So it looks like we're always home. Dion, is my accent attractive too? Because <laughs> Joe's... A brunette, not Nicole Kiffin. Wow, that's wonderful. Joelle's often quite quiet in the videos, you know. It's just like you can't... Sometimes I'm, I manage to play the audio and record her so you can hear the giggles and then you sometimes I can't. People think talk. Yeah, some people go, she's the most lovable mute on the internet. And I'm like, well, oh, mute, imagine Maybe that. that's what I mean. Imagine if we had a mute button. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Um, how did you propose? Uh, we went to Sydney for a weekend. Mm-hmm. And um, it was quite funny because I picked it up duty free, which saves GST. The ring. Yeah, the ring. GST at the airport. And um, anyway, we landed, went to a hotel, and then we were in a cab out and we were in a packed taxi yeah, full, yeah. full of people. We were over. And um, the ring people. was in a big ring box. And um, <laughs> Joe was sitting on my knee and that was in, a, in my pocket. I just kept going, oh my goodness, please do not <laughs> yeah. ask what is in my pocket. <laughs> But yeah, ended up getting down on one knee and... Um, Went for a walk on the beach. It was beautiful. And then got back to the bar and they had champagne waiting. Because my girlfriend knew. Didn't yeah, you? Had I had a helper. With her, that, so I didn't know. It was very epic. And I had no idea whatsoever. Completely. I'd never even... Just, can I note this here? I'd never even asked or given hints, had I? One of our, the, our flatmates at the time, the girl really wanted to get married. She was about four years older than... Um, yeah, we were 20, I was 27 when we got married. So and she was doing all that, like, wouldn't say anything, then she'd get a bit uh, intoxicated and then ask him when he's going to ask and then leave brochures floating around. I was like, if you ever do that, I will never, <laughs> I will never ask. Because you want it to be, you know, your idea as a guy, don't you? And saying that, one of um, Joe's friends just... Yeah, she just proposed on, on uh, leap, the, leap, the 29th of Feb. Um, it was beautiful, and I knew she was going to do it, which was really cool. She made like a video for him, and they had their combined four children there. It was beautiful on the beach. So, ladies, if you're waiting, just just ask. <laughs> Lily, say hi to uh, Harry for us. Oh, hi, Harry. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, God, there was another question there that I wanted to answer, and I can't remember what it was. Sorry. Squints, uh, the helper video is, that's your favourite video, eh? My little helper. Oh, get that, because it's exactly what I do. I <laughs> could not relate to it more. It was so funny. And um, I post, we posted it mid-year last year, and it got 20 plus million views. It's crazy. And then um, I posted it again as Joe's favourite video of 2023, and it got 20 million views again. Um, a few of my girlfriends are annoyed at me that Mike shared it now because their partner's just patronisingly call them their little helper. <laughs> yeah, we've heard it lots through our community on followers and things online and uh, friends, definitely. It's like... Because it's true. <laughs> Sorry. But we're just trying to help. Like, you feel like you're helping. That's, I'm just always your little helper. Stop sign, stop sign, stop sign. But not even just in the car. Like, in life, I'm always like, you're like, oh, I never thought of that. Well, <laughs> that's why I'm here, even though you had... We've, uh, we've branded up some merch. It's on our website, mikeandjoelle.com. But um, the funniest one is an apron. But I think, because we haven't even got ours yet, it comes from, gets printed in the United States, so we have to wait a month to get it down here uh, in New Zealand. But um, I can't wait to wear it and make some videos, but I'll be the one wearing it probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, hang on. I just want to... You keep talking, Mikey. I just want to. Joe's just playing with the comments. Someone trying to. You talk. Uh, <laughs> uh, me talk. Wow, she's never said that in her whole life. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, multitask. Might do it. Two things at once. Oh, man. Reading, reading fast. That's tough. And talking. Uh, what else do you guys want to know? We um, make. At least one, we try and post one video a day. 
uh, sometimes two. If one's really short and, and quick and easy to make, then sometimes they bang up to a day. And uh, I've been on a run of 400 days in a row now. One video uh, a day, it's been pretty epic. Yeah, it has been. Mm -hmm. um, to answer the question, it's been asked several times, clearly we are not gay, and we have two children, which is a separate question. Um, I can, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, two children who are eight and six. We live in New Zealand, um, in the Coromandel, which is an absolutely beautiful place in New Zealand, right? Yeah, a lot of we get a lot of messages asking like I'm coming to New Zealand, where shall I visit? It's actually really hard to answer. Um, I'm from the top of the South Island, um, that, near the Abel Tasman National Park, and if you've ever been here, you've probably you should have been there, right? Yeah, stunning. And the Coromandel where we live is an epic place to visit, along with Milford Sound, Queenstown. There you go question we always get asked like how many kitchens do you guys have <laughs> and someone just asked it before uh we have what would you say so we've got our house in auckland where it all began um which we have now rented out and then we uh film in the lodge my parents own a lodge which is five minutes from the house we're in right now and it looks like there's two kitchens because we filmed a lot when they had like a gray bench top. Yeah, they've just changed it. And now they've just changed it and it's a white bench top. So that's the same kitchen. And then we've obviously filmed heaps here in uh, our house in renting. Yeah. Mang Mata, mm. which is the black kitchen. Yeah. Which I find so tough to keep clean. It just shows up all the dust. I'm just constantly cleaning. <laughs> if you don't know Kiwi humor, like sarcasm <laughs> is very, very strong, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Was that sarcastic? Oh, I was being yeah. serious. It is. She even looked there. Like, I think you wiped that before we did it. He's like wiped the bean. It's like a big streak. <laughs> Just. Yeah, black. If you're ever thinking, like, if you're ever thinking of installing a kitchen, don't black. Mm -mm. It, it looks really cool. What did we used to do for work before I started making videos? We still do work outside of this. Or Mike has. Retired own, from personal training. We own a boxing, corporate boxing gym in Auckland, New Zealand, which is for everyone. So there's only about 20 people that go there that actually box and compete. Fit fight, yeah. And then the rest are just um, everyday people that want to yeah, box for fitness. Mm. But we kind of take it a level above like a boxing fitness gym where we teach proper combinations and technique and do pad work with each other. And yeah, yeah it's a pretty epic way to build self-confidence and empower people and fitness yeah. and health and it's a really cool vibe there. Uh, I personally trained there for 20 years nearly and it's just literally only like three months ago. Yeah the end of last year just um, got off the tools so we still own the gym still run the gym and um, it means you is now here the gym is two and a half hours from where we live so now he can be here full time he's having to be up there half the week um, and I am a holistic health coach so all my Clients uh, online, so you can work with me anywhere in the world. Online from all over the world. Yeah, it's mm. that uh, blows my mind. It's just amazing. There are clients in the States, Norway, Sweden, Australia, Israel, uh, just to name a few. Anyway. Hi, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, any travel suggestions for New Zealand? No, I just threw those out there. You have to go back and listen, but yeah, no. <laughs> like the cities here are cool, but honestly, you need to see the space that we have. Don't you agree? Yeah, and just the lack of population, I guess. You go to, we went on our OE in 2009. Eight, eight. eight. OE 09. And like we're in oh, Croatia and stuff. Annoying. Amazing beaches, um, but like heaps of people. People everywhere. And we come back to the Coromandel beaches of New Zealand and you walk out and there's like five people on these like beautiful gold standard beaches. It's just like, unreal. How old is your sister? Sorry, I shouldn't have read that. We're, we're not brother and sister. Um, but in saying that, uh, we've traveled a lot of Europe. I lived in the UK in 2003 as well. Um, and Croatia is one of my favorite countries, Croatia and Italy. 
my two favorite places in the world. Um, someone asked if we moved, would we keep this going? And that is, yes, 100%. I am addicted now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you love it. If we moved where? Like somewhere else? Anywhere. Oh, yeah. The good thing is it's all done on the internet. So, yeah, that's as long as we've got... That's both of our jobs now. And I think that's why we can live where we do. It's a very small town where we live. And so, obviously, you need to find employment that can, can work for you. So, yeah. Yes, we are Black Cat uh, fans. That's the New Zealand cricket team for anyone that doesn't know. And we don't want any more kids. No. No more kids. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 39. No, thanks. The website Mike referred to was mikeandjoel.com. Have all your luck if you want to. Uh, unless it's um, the health coaching website, which is my joy to <laughs> Sorry, stealing. <laughs> What's our favorite topic of video? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> People always ask how, where I get the ideas from, and that's where um, the platforms, algorithms are so good. So basically, you know how if you, these days you seem like if you even think about, say, golf, next minute there's golf ads in front of you and golf shorts and golf videos and golf billboards everywhere. So I'm always watching uh, other couples and, and what they get up to and the jokes and so, all the platforms just send me these videos all the time and then I just pick the ones that I like that match my personality and match the couple comedy vibe that we go mm. for mm. and um hot yeah babe. you're so hot oh thanks yeah are we husband and wife yes <laughs> under the minute smallest handcuff in the world <laughs> he doesn't mean that <laughs> what else what else can we tell you about New Zealand so so there's been a lot of questions about Tasmanian devils and snake that's in Australia we don't have wrong country that's like same Can Canada same, and yeah, the US yeah, same mm -hmm. yeah Canada and the US I ha we don't know for sure but we kind of have heard know. that uh, a bit of the rivalry yeah they don't like being called from... although like oh my god I love Australia We've been fortunate to have been to a lot of places in Aussie and have a lot of Australian friends. So, yeah. Yeah, I think the videos that um, go really well as well are the ones that cruise along in a certain direction. And I think a lot of the viewers or you watching think that it's going to, how it's going to end. And then it just goes completely sideways at the end. And people are like, whoa, didn't see yeah, that coming. Yeah, or laugh. that one gets me. Um, and I love, I just love a, d a dad joke one as well. Yes, yeah, I'm not a fan of dad jokes. <laughs> oh my God. It's because he cracks them all the time. Like there's so, so like a lot of the content you see, like he does film a lot. He, Mike does film a lot, but he, Mike is like that all the time. So the dad jokes are a bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the, star sign are you, babe? Uh, he even doesn't know. even know. He's a Scorpio. I'm a Sagittarius. You wouldn't know. <laughs> um, someone asked if I wear makeup. Yes, I do. Uh, not often. Uh, minimal. Here's your answer. Who's older? I'm the old guy. Only by a year. His birthday is November 83. December for me, 84. Todd, we try and be the same on camera as we are off. We just like to be real. And um... yeah, This is what I'm like. Yeah, <laughs> this, well, this is us right now. <laughs> I know, my ears, are, we should swap sides because my right ear is starting to hurt a little. <laughs> uh, there's some big cricket fans here. Yeah, there you are. play cricket. Yes? Backyard did you cricket. Play, did you play cricket never, as a kid though? Never played properly oh, as a kid. I played Kiwi cricket and then we went to hardball and I was the only girl, so I quit. Well, you, well you cricket fans out there where... Um, name dropping, but we're quite good friends with Martin Guptill. Um, so we've been to quite a few awesome cricket matches over the years. And uh, yeah, no, he's a good good dude, legend, good player. Um, I just noticed there's like a, a couple of comments that they, someone said they click on someone else thinking that they're getting us. There are quite a few fake accounts across uh, various social media channels. Uh, we are doing our best to, we've had over 190 or something of them removed. So we're doing our best to remove them all, but it, it does take a, a bit. Yeah, it's easier to monitor here on YouTube. So if you want to watch our stuff here, it's probably the best place. Yeah. 
reading. These comments Yeah, in. these comments are flying in. Do you like white bait fritters? No, not for me. Ugh. I'm not a huge fan, I but see little eyes, New Zealanders like looking love at you. them. Scallops, on the other hand. I love scallops. Back, back in the day, <laughs> when we were little, uh, we'd go dredging, like with the boat, dad's boat, and you could get like 250 scallops and like one toe, like easy. They obviously have been over fished. Is that the word? Over. Yeah. Yeah. And the supply is obviously a lot lower. Yeah. Hi, the one, one baseball, baseball kid, kid, number 20. Marmite. If you want Marmite lots of. Vegemite. If you want lots of shout outs, you should Marmite. have a shorter name. <laughs> there you go, though. Marmite for sure. Uh, expensive. Mm -hmm. New Zealand is very expensive, yeah. especially comparative to Australia. I was in uh, Melbourne earlier this year and oh my God, the food in the supermarket was so much cheaper. Way cheaper. Oh well. Silence. Wow. Joe was silent for five seconds just then. That was so nice on my ear. This is one of my favorite <laughs> Italian food. Cabanara. Oh, that's my <laughs> I actually really like all the um, pizza. Red wine. Mm. Like, I love how you can just go fill a like a carafe of red wine. That's, is that food? No. <laughs> <gasps> Gelato. Oh, pizza, pasta, your uh, mozzarella. No, I can tomato. What is that called with basil? Mm. I eat, uh, no, we haven't been to New York, but it's on Joe's bucket list. That's Joelle's one bucket list. city. Like, there's a lot of cities in the world I haven't been to, but like one city in the world I've never been to and I really want to go to. If anyone knows, uh, like to know what it's like in December because there's a big birthday in December. Really? Well, that would be pretty cool. It's winter, it'd be winter, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wow, that would be awesome. Hmm. We've been to the US twice each. I've been to Hawaii and then through I've been three times. LA and Vegas together. Yeah, I've been years ago. to LA 21 years ago and then uh, went to Vegas and LA with Mikey in Hawaii to visit him when he was living in Hawaii. What's a New Zealand food dish? Boss man UK, push and chops. That's like a New Zealand takeaway or a takeout, is I think you, the people call it in the States. Um, Traditional, but, I was just looking that up. We're off to Rotorua where the um, mud pools are. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of Rotorua, but it's a scenic place in New Zealand where there's geysers and lots of volcanic activity. No, well, not geothermal activity. Geothermal, yeah, geothermal. Thermal. Yeah, yeah, we're off there this weekend with the boys. going to be awesome. Um, did you say it, hangi? Hangi. Hangi. So it's a traditional Maori uh, dish, dish or cook, like the weight method to cook. I don't know too much. We might learn about it this weekend, but basically dig, dig a big hole, put some really hot rocks in there and then some food and leave it for like six, eight hours. Food is in baskets and it's covered in cloths and it's all wrapped up and it's all prepared before you put it in, meat and vegetables. Generally, a lot of root vegetables. Um, it's quite a smoky flavour, obviously, because yeah. it's underground. Um, but yeah, that's a traditional Māori dish. But like barbecues here. Like kiwis, like a sausage and bread and tomato sauce is very kiwi. Yeah, yeah, yum. But yeah, you ever had fried chicken? Yeah, I guess just, it's not huge here. Um, when you've got KFC. <laughs> Todd, you should totally do it. Australia and New Zealand, awesome places to visit. Yeah, and Aussie is huge. Teresa, we're not siblings. We've answered that. <laughs> we are husband and wife. <laughs> New Zealand lamb is beautiful. Yes, that is very, very true. In fact, Joel had that on our first date, didn't you? I did, mm. and he barred at me. <laughs> Actually, Rocco asked the other day, because uh, where we live, there's a farm next door and there's cattle and um, we've been teaching them that that's the beef like, that he eats. Um, and then I, this was actually not the other day, probably a month ago, I got like a roast lamb out to cook. And he's like, what meat's that, mummy? I was like, lamb. He goes, why would you kill a baby sheep? I was like, because it's yummy. I'm sorry, apologies. You need vegetarians and vegans. Um, I just lost 200 people. 
talking about mate. Ah, oh, that's gonna. Damn. Xena Warrior Princess, where was that filmed? It was yeah, filmed that in was New, New Zealand, Zealand, but I don't know whereabouts in New Zealand. Yeah. It's a lot of uh, tourists come and they go to. I've never been to Hobbiton. I'm <clears throat> not a Lord of the Rings fan. Um, but if you are, this is the place to be, isn't well, it? Not Coromandel, but yeah. wherever Hobbiton is. Uh, the big Something question, Joelle, matters. the big question that came through about a minute ago is why are you always cleaning? Because I, I actually, I am OCD. Everything has its place. Why is Mike just filming her, playing jokes to her, and she's cleaning all day, every day, non-stop. She just cleans all the time. She's, do you ever help her? People get angry, eh? Oh, yeah. It's it winds funny. them up. So I actually, in a few videos, I've kind of played on that a little bit and put my feet up and filmed her. It shows me, like, lying down while she's folding a big basket Things have their place. I like things tidy, but also I'm busy... It's a good time for Mike to get a natural reaction from me because I'm busy doing something else. So he interrupts me. Then rather than um, I probably I wouldn't act, react angrily, but if I'm working or on like Zoom calls, you can't really. It's a bit unprofessional to come in at those moments, isn't it? Yeah, basically, if especially on one of those like one minute reels or minute thirty jokes, uh, just standing there like this. It's kind of awkward, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I've actually tried. We've actually tried to swap before. And Joe's played me a joke before. Oh my God. He was and so awkward. It's when really he hard to be um, natural. Mm. Really, really, mm. really hard. Um, Sorry, I was thirsty. <laughs> Do we fish? Um, not often enough. Uh, my dad has a boat. My parents are in the South Island. We go fishing on their boat when we stay with them. Um, the boys like fishing, we fish off the wharf here and you just catch little fish, um, but not, not often enough. Nah. Rocco, our eight year old, loves it, but he gets he a bit gets motion seasick. sickness, a bit seasick, so we have to take him out. Our neighbours and our friends down the road have boats, so we need to take him out on a really flat, flat day. It's actually beautiful out there this morning, I went for a walk on the beach at, uh, just before six, it was pitch black. Uh, but flat and then once the light we swum and when the sun was coming up and the boats were just streaming out of the harbour to get out fishing. Hi Rose. Corey, yes, they uh, streams in New Zealand do have huge trout and that is one thing our eight year old would love. Trout fishing. Oh yeah, because he's not on a boat, a rocking boat. Oh yeah, of course. Um, I've only ever been fishing hard, in the I've ocean. never really tried it, but it... Or at the, there's a salmon farm in Golden Bay, uh, which is the top of the South Island and that's really fun, a great place to take kids. Um, that, because you're guaranteed to catch a salmon. American football, not really. Super Bowl, we would watch, because it's watch the really cool, televised. Cool uh, movie last night. I can't remember what it's called now. Mike had tears. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't. He like had tears in his eyes. It was about some footballer who didn't. It was based was it? on a true story. Yeah, what was it um, called? What's his name? Can't remember. It's really good on Netflix. It's a American football one. You'll be able to find it, I'm sure. Mm. Joe cried. I didn't cry. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and I wasn't. Like, I'm a, I'm a, like a happy cry and like a, yeah. Koalas, yeah, the, Australia. Sorry. The jokes are a <laughs> mixture of um, my jokes that I use AI voices to to create the voice. So you can like, these days you can write the joke in and then a voice says it for you. Um, so there's a bit of that. Then sometimes I use my own voice. And then sometimes I just find a funny comedian and play that to Joelle, um, which they actually really enjoy. Some people ask, do they like that? Um, yes, mostly they do. They message me and say thanks because generally I tag them, put their name there and it helps them spread their, their profile as well. So it's a bit of a win-win situation. We're reading again, so I'm yeah. No, it's not Remember the Titans. I think it's new on Netflix. Judith, you found us. Awesome. Stripper. 
What's that supposed to mean? Richard, we are fantastic. Thanks. Thanks, Thank mate. You. Appreciate it. Um, I have, Joe's got to get some cleaning done. It works to do. <laughs> Um, and then I've actually got a couple of jokes saved up to play to her this morning, which I'm looking forward to seeing how they go and how they, how she reacts to them. Um, uh, go so, to yeah. wine. I was trying to read what he meant. Um, I don't really, I used to love wine, but it doesn't love me. So a rosé is wonderful. Man, we could probably stay here all day. Yeah, we he, gotta go. cry. <laughs> he just got like little tears. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Thank you. See you next time, guys. Yeah. Thanks for following, subscribing. Bye. Appreciate all of you.